It is easy over time to know whether you are under a curse when you see that you struggle and you do everything others are doing and yet you don't get it. You fight, you don't win. You run, you don't get there. You are walking, nothing to show for it. That kind of a person may be under a curse. Now, sometimes it's not the bad things that we do that brings a man under a curse. Sometimes people do good, but people with evil mind place them under a curse because they are authority figure in their lives. You must understand that one of the most important things for you to discover is to know whether you are under a curse or not. And if you are under a curse, it is your responsibility to stand with God until that curse be changed and turned to a blessing. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the Almighty God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, your Father, my Father, have sent me again to you this morning with this word to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to bless you. My prayer is that if there is any curse in your life, God will remove those curses and turn them to blessings for you in the mighty name of Jesus. God will fill you with divine ability and blessing to turn things around for your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today, I still want you to understand that cases are so real. It's in the Bible. You remember when Cain and Abel presented their gift to God and God commended Abel. You remember how Cain killed Abel. Afterward, Cain was cursed. Cain was cursed. But one thing with Cain is that Cain complained. He said, this curse, oh God, that you placed on me is too much. And one way or the other, God reduced the effect of the curse. That shows you that even if we are under a curse, we can do something about it. Remember Noah. I mean, yes, after the flood, when Noah came out of the ark, God looked at Noah and all the human beings that survived the, the flood. And God said, I will no longer curse the earth. Because of man. That means that a curse may be in place, but there is always a solution to the curse. Remember Jabez. Jabez was also a man who seemed to have been cursed since the day he was born because his mother called him sorrow. It was like his mother even had cursed him. But when he prayed, God turned his captivity and he became a honorable man. So when there is a curse in place in our lives, that does not mean that our life is doomed. No, we can still do something about it. And that is why we are sending this message to you every day so that you can know that even though wicked people may have placed you to be under a curse, there is a solution. You can break the spell of wickedness. To some people, they have placed the spell of barrenness. To some, they put the spell of poverty. To other people, they, they put the spell spell of hatred. Everywhere you go, people just hate you. To some other, they put the spell of get and lose. Every time you get something good, you eventually lose it. That is the spell or the curse they put upon you. Some, it is the spell of not finding a right partner. Every partner you find, you know, happens to be a wrong one. This is a demonic spell that must be broken. You see, there are different kinds of spells that they have put on some people. Some people, they have money, all right, but they don't know how they spend it. Some, they have cars, but every time, accident, every now and then. Some, it is the spell of sickness and disease. They just fall into a sickness that does not have solution. No, in the, the medic, no medical solution. These are spell of cases that God in its infinite mercy can remove out of your life. You see? But let's look at how this you know, spell or curse come. 
You see, it comes when, like I said in previous episodes, when we offend people through our action. The action may be good or bad. You see, when those people are offended, they go into cursing. They curse us. And when you are cursed, it's a problem. If the one who cursed you is an authority figure in your life. Authority figure in your life includes your father, your mother, your auntie, your uncles, your brothers, your sisters who are senior to you. Or those your brothers and sisters who have helped you at a time you needed their help. They are authority figures in your life. Your friends, some of your friends are authority figures. And maybe your husband, your wife, these are authority figures. Your pastor, your evangelist in the church, these are authority figures. Your teachers in school or those people who train you one way or the other in life, these are authority figures. When they curse you, there may be a problem. As you can see, in the case of Jacob, when Reuben was cursed, because Reuben slept with one of the wives of his father, Jacob. And so when his father was going, he placed a curse on Reuben. And that curse continued to exist until God told Moses to remove that curse. You see? So curses can come, and curses came in different ways. One, somebody can open his mouth and place a curse by saying negative words to you. Another way is that some people can just sit down in the corner of their bed and begin to imagine and think evil. Those evil things they are thinking is powerful because imagination creates reality. When they are imagining that you will die, when they are imagining that you will never keep a job, when they are imagining that you will never have a smooth relationship, when they imagine that your husband will always beat you. Some people, they are so beautiful and they are good behaved, they are well behaved, but always their husband is beating them. There is a spell, a demon that must be cast out of your life, you know? So when somebody sits at the corner of his house, begin to imagine these things, it may bring a curse to your life. Some other people bring a curse to your life by simply entering into witchcraft. Witchcraft spirit is a dangerous and powerful spirit. When somebody enters into witchcraft and with witchcraft agenda plays a curse upon your life, it's so difficult because this witchcraft spirit, they are not playing. They mean business. You see, and they have got power no matter how you look at it. See, for you, <clears throat> excuse me, for you to overcome them, you need a greater power. And you must remember that Jesus said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the devil, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You see, these are cases. Then the, the, the strongest cases are those that come from your father or your mother. If a father can curse you or a mother, you really need deliverance. That is just the truth. There is no doubt about it because your mother brought you into this world. And there are some people who have placed curse upon you by changing, you know, destiny. There are people who change other people's destiny. They can take the sponge you use to bath or your clothes or your vest, a cloth that has touched your body can be taken to a witch doctor and they can reverse. Your destiny can be sold to another through witchcraft agenda. It is a demonic work that they do. You may not understand how they do it, but it is real. You just see a boy or a girl who was so brilliant when he was in school, very sharp. Everybody is expecting great things to happen in his or her life. But as he grows, you see, things change. He becomes another person. He may become a drunkard and his life will go downward trend to destruction. It is because something had been done. A major witchcraft or witch doctor have done a major work to change his destiny for another person. These are the things of life that are so real. Don't say, no, pastor, I don't believe it. How can somebody change my destiny? Ah, It's because you are still very ignorant in spiritual matters. In spiritual matter, anything is possible. And so I want you to understand. So these are the ways curses come to people's life. Now, having known the way curses come to people's life, how do we now, 
you know, stand against these cases. This is what I'm going to talk to you about in the next tomorrow by the grace of God. But let me tell you something today before I round up. I don't know whether there is a case upon your life, but you can just observe. If you are 30 years and above, you can begin to notice if there is a case upon your life. When you see something occurring regularly, when you see yourself doing things that others are doing and they are succeeding, but you, you are struggling. When you see yourself being hated anywhere you go, when you see people who love you turn suddenly against you, when you see that always there is an accident, when you see, it even happened to a friend of mine who told me that every time he goes to a party, when they are serving food, he doesn't know why. But when he comes to his turn to be served, the food is finished. He has observed this thing several times in his life. Every time he goes to a party, sometimes he will say, I will sit in the front so that I will get food this time around. But those organizers will start now to distribute food from the back. And by the time they get to the front, food has finished. Sometimes you say, I will sit at the back. Maybe this time around they will start serving from the back. That is the time they will start serving from the front. And sometimes he will say, now, I will sit in the middle. So no matter what, when he sits in the middle, those people, they will just decide, okay, we will start from the front at the back. At the same time, we will meet at the middle. By the time they get to the middle, no food for this guy. I said, there is a demon working in your life. There is a curse that must be broken. This is how those good things are eluding you in real life. This party that you are seeing is just showing you what is happening in your life in the spiritual realm. And those curses were broken out of his life. I don't know what you are going through, but I want to tell you there is a God. You did not come here on your own. You are sent here by God. And these enemies that say no way to you must bow down because the will of God, the plan of God, the program of God for your life must be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. You will make it. This curse will go away. This demon will pack his load and leave you. This spell of barrenness is broken in the name of Jesus. This spell of poverty is broken out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You are shining. Your enemy is falling down and you are riding over their head. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. This is where I'm going to stop today. Thank you so much for listening. I believe this has blessed you. And if this blessed you, can you please send it to your friends and loved ones so that they too can be blessed. Thank you for doing that. You are able to hear this message because of the contributions of the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. You too can decide to be a partner. You too can sow a seed to this ministry. And God will bless you for doing that. If you want to do that, just WhatsApp me, say partner or seed. And if you are receiving this for the first time, you can just, if you want me to send this to you directly, maybe somebody rebroadcasted this to you and you want it directly from my studios, just save my number with I Prevail. My number is plus 27740302. 381. Save it right now. Go to your WhatsApp. Send me this message. Add me. Or to your Telegram. Just add me. That message, add me, is enough. From tomorrow, you will you will receive these messages. Thank you again, your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed. <laughs>